morning. Good morning. Oh, Mr. Grant, here's your mail mm -hmm. and your tickets to the broadcaster's Man of the Year dinner. Oh, thank you, Mary. Who's the Man of the Year this time? Lucille Harris from Channel 10. Lucille Harris, Man of the Year. Good choice. <laughs> Lou got two tickets to the dinner. Who's he going with? Gee, I don't know. He must be taking somebody. Well, maybe he and Edie are getting back together. No, no, I don't think so. He told me the other day they haven't spoken in weeks. Uh, well, I guess he has a date. I guess so. I wonder who it could be. Morning, guys. Morning. Oh, Ted, here are your tickets to the broadcaster's Man of the Year dinner. Oh, thanks, Mayor. Who stole the award from me this year? Lucille Harris. Lucille Harris, Man of the Year? That's right, Ted. That sounds strange. Yes, it does. Wonder why his mother called him Lucille. <laughs> hey, you don't think he's... <laughs> Ted, Lucille Harris is a woman. Oh, good. I'd much rather have a woman be man of the year than some guy named Lucille. <laughs> so, by the way, uh, Marie says the babysitter can come early, so we'll be able to drop by for drinks before the dinner. Oh, good. Oh, my God. I didn't even think to ask Mr. Grant. I better ask him. I wonder who his date could be. Come in. Um, Mr. Grant, I'm having a few people over to my place before the dinner on Friday night. What dinner? With the Man of the Year dinner. Anyway, not a lot of people. You know, just Murray and his wife and Ted and Georgette. And so I thought that maybe you and your... What? Date. What date? Well, I just assumed that you were taking somebody. I mean, you ordered two tickets. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> of course I have it, Mary. After you've been married 26 years, you always tend to think in terms of twos. I gotta stop that. Oh. Look, I know this may not be any of my business, but could I say something personal? No. Mr. Grant, why don't you take someone to the dinner? I don't want to. Why not? You already paid for two dinners. Okay, then. I'll eat two dinners. <laughs> Mr. Grant. Oh, better yet, I don't think I'll go at all. Oh, come on, Mr. Grant. You know you have to go, and you know you hate to go to these things alone. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe I should take a date to that dinner. Right. Mm -hmm. Mary, see if you can get my wife on the phone. <laughs> okay, yes, I will, Mr. Grant. I would be delighted. Be a good chance for you two to see each other again. Go out, have a good time, have a few laughs. Edie McKenzie, please. Mackenzie? Yeah, I ran into her the other day. She said she went back to using her maiden name. Yeah. Thank you. She's coming on the line. Stay. Hello, Edie? This is Mr. Mackenzie. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. How about you? Mm-hmm. Good, good. Uh, listen, Edie, you know that broadcaster's man of the year dinner they always have? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got an extra ticket, yeah. Uh, it's this Friday. You want to come? Okay. I'll see you Friday. Is she coming? Yeah, she's coming. For somebody else. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant. It's going to be kind of strange seeing Edie there with another man. <laughs> Uh, all right. That's the way she wants it? Okay. I mean, there are plenty of women in the world. Right! And I bet a lot of them would be happy to go with me to that dinner. Oh, you bet they would. Sure. She can get a date, I can get a date. Of course you can. Mary, give me a date. <laughs> well, listen, if you think of anyone, could you call me back? Come in. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Mia, you know how I hate borrowing things from you, but have you got a scarf that goes with this jacket? Yeah, I think so. I figured, since this is your jacket. <laughs> hey, you look great. Where are you going? I'm going to the sports arena. I have a date with the left wing. The left wing? It's a hockey player. Oh. I met him last time his team was playing in town. I had a seat right next to the penalty box. And you just started talking to him? Sure, sure. I said, uh, excuse me, uh, is this your tooth? <laughs> oh, Mary, that's perfect. That's, 
So, you want to come with me tonight? Oh, no, I don't think so, Rhoda. I still haven't found a date for Mr. Grant. I'm just hoping someone will call me back. Oh, you're so stupid, Mia. I almost forgot. I got somebody for you. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, a woman uh, from my mom and dad's class. Listen, she's a warm, good person. Very attractive, uh -huh. very intelligent. Her husband died about a year ago, and I have a feeling that she and Lou would really like each other. So here's her number. I'll give her a call. Mary, I love her. Really, she's wonderful. Well, uh, listen, don't you think you ought to call her? She knows she doesn't like me. <laughs> Rhoda, if she doesn't like you, how can I possibly Mary, call Mary, her? Mary, I was just kidding then. Oh. I mean, of course she likes me. A person has to like me if I like them, right? I mean, I'm a likable person. You like me. I like you. Call her. She'll like you. <laughs> hey, thanks for the scarf. Okay. And the jacket, kid. You do like me, don't you? <laughs> Hello, uh, is Mrs. Dudley there? Well, how do you do, Mrs. Dudley? My name is Mary Richards, and I'm a friend of Rhoda Morgan Stearns. You know those horrible phone calls you get when someone you hardly know calls you up and asks you to go out with somebody you don't even know at all? <laughs> Well, this is one of those phone calls. <laughs> but listen, uh, l let me tell you about him, because he is really... He 7.30, and it's the same address as Rose. <laughs> See you then. Bye. And Mr. Grant, she's really looking forward to meeting you. Good. Phone her back and call it off. <laughs> but Mr. Grant... Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. I've been thinking about it. I just can't go through with it. Call Mrs. Dudley and cancel. No, I won't. I don't want to discuss it, Mary. Please. Let me handle this, Mary. <laughs> Lou, let's talk man to man. I think they're one short. <laughs> Lou, there are two kinds of people in this world. There are men and there are women. You with me so far, big fella? I'm with you. Now, men have certain needs, basic animal needs, ugly needs. They can only be satisfied by women. Exactly. <laughs> now, these needs are nothing to be ashamed of, Lou. All men have these needs. You have them, I have them. Even President Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> he really does, Lou. <laughs> now, it isn't natural for these needs to go unsatisfied. Is it normal? Is it healthy? <laughs> so, what do you say, Lou? I say Nixon should take Mrs. Dudley to that dinner. <laughs> I don't think I got through to him, guys. <laughs> Mr. Grant, are you sure you won't change your mind? Yeah, come on. It'll be fun, all of us going out together. You, me, Mary, Ted. I never know when to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't explain. I don't know why, but I just can't do it. I know why. It's because you think this woman will think you're not an attractive man, right, Lou? You're afraid she'll think you're a short, bald, overweight, middle-aged man. A lot of women like that. <laughs> Mary, will you please call Mrs. Dudley? I am not going out with some woman I never met before. What will we talk about? Oh, Mr. Grant, she's an intelligent woman. You can talk about anything. Call her. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant, I just can't believe that you're concerned about making conversation. What does anybody talk about when they're on a date? Call her. What do I talk about? What does Ted talk to? What does anybody talk about? Call her. What does Edie talk about when she's on a date? Why'd you do that? Well, uh, what do you mean? Tell me, Mary. Do you really believe that it bothers me that Edie thinks I can't get a date? Do you really? No. Oh, you're wrong. Call you Mrs. Dudley and tell her I'll see her at your place. <laughs> right. No, Rhoda. What do you think? Mary, what are you doing? It's late. Get dressed. <laughs> Perfection. Really. Thank you. Hey, uh, do me 
one more paper? Will you put the raw vegetables out and the, and the dip? Sure. Hello. Hello. Harry oh. Richards? Yes. Well, I'm Martha Dudley. <laughs> you're, you're Martha Dudley? Hello, Mrs. Dudley. Oh, hello, Rhoda, dear. <laughs> well, uh, well, yes, do, uh, go ahead, come in, please. Okay. Uh, sit, sit right down. <laughs> Rhoda, uh, could I speak to you in the kitchen for just a minute, please? <laughs> Mrs. Dudley? From your dance class? <laughs> of course not. That's a mother-in-law. Her late husband's mother. Yeah, they uh, share an apartment. What's she doing here anyway? Rhoda, you gave me a phone number. You told me to call Mrs. Dudley. Sure. Yeah, Mrs. Ellen Dudley. Not Mrs. Martha Dudley. Mary Martha Dudley's got to be 80 years old. <laughs> for me. You know, these old fingers don't always do what I tell them to. <laughs> hello there. Oh, hello, Rhoda, dear. Oh, what a beautiful corsage. Lou brought it for me. Did he? Mm -hmm. Oh, have some cheese puffs. Oh, thank it's nice you. Nice and hot. Thank you, dear. How about you, Lou? No. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> Take one later if you want it. So, Martha, how's Ellen? I haven't seen her in class lately. Well, she's just fine. Uh, excuse me. I want to talk to Mary for a minute. You're excused, Lou. Hello, Mary. Your drink, Mr. Grant. Thank you, Mary. To a long life, Mary. Mr. Grant, I am just... So sorry. Please, there's no need to apologize. It's not your fault. All I said to you was, get me a date. <laughs> I didn't specify what kind of a date. <laughs> How were you to know that I wanted somebody under 90? <laughs> Would you please let me 
let me explain. You see, there are two Mrs. Dudley. Mary, there are thousands of Mrs. Dudley. <laughs> Why this Mrs. Dudley? I can't take that little old lady to dinner. Well, Mr. Grant, she's here. I mean, you can't just send her home. My wife is going to be at that dinner. I can't walk in there with that Mrs. Dudley. I'm just going to have to tell her. How? I don't know. But she's just got to be told. Nan, where's Martha's drink? She's starting to choke on the cheese puffs. <laughs> it's all right, dear. I'll take it to her. He's not taking it well. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you, Lou. <laughs> you know, Mrs. Dudley. Call me Martha. <laughs> Yeah. That's a very pretty outfit you have on. Oh, thank you, Lou. I got it just for tonight. Oh. <laughs> That's very becoming. Mm -hmm. yeah. hey, uh, you know, this, this dinner tonight is very important to me. You see, this will be the first time I have taken a woman out since my wife and I separated. Oh, and... Lou, I know just how you feel. It was two years after my husband passed away before I started dating again. But believe me, Lou, tonight is going to do you a world of good. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You're excused, Lou. Thanks. Mary, I wonder if I could have a word with you. Surely. Mary, I can't tell her. Mr. Grant, why didn't you just go through with it? I mean, it's just for one night. She's a sweet, lovely lady. You have absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> What's to be embarrassed about? Hi, Hi Mary. Hi, Rhoda. Hi. Hi, Lou. Hi, Georgia. Say, who's the old lady? <laughs> Martha Dudley, I'd like you to meet Georgette Franklin and Ted Baxter. Oh. Nice to meet you. This is Martha Dudley, and she is Lou's date for the evening. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Come on, Lou. Who is she, really? <laughs> That's who I'm taking to the dinner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Nice to meet you. Well, thank you. Have you and Mr. Grant been going together long? <laughs> our first date. We met through Mary. You know, Mr. Baxter, you look very familiar to me. Oh, well, you've probably seen me on television. No, I don't watch television. I have a fireplace. Excuse me. Your excuse. Georgette, that's a lovely dress. Is it new? Pretty new. I bought it this afternoon. <laughs> that's quite a date you got there, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see if she's got a granddaughter for me? <laughs> At least nobody can accuse you of, of robbing the old cradle. <laughs> but, but, but on the other hand, she's not bad, Lou, really. <laughs> Actually, she's, she's kind of cute, you know, and it grows on you. Got nice legs. <laughs> Mr. Grant, Martha has had such an interesting life. Did you know she was flower girl at Thomas Alva Edison's wedding? <laughs> oh, hiya, Mayor. Uh, Marie got the flu, Fred. I'll come along. Oh, hey, Mary will get you a date. <laughs> well, listen, now that Murray's here, why don't we all head for the dinner? We don't want to be late. Certainly don't want to miss that fruit cup. <laughs> Well, uh, Mary, aren't you forgetting Andy? You know, your date. Ah, oh, Andy! Hey, Andy. Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi. We're just leaving. 
Looks like a nice party I almost went to. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. <laughs> You dear, you know these old legs don't always do everything that I tell them to. <laughs> ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, and now for your dancing and listening pleasure, here's Bobby Roberts and his orchestra. Well, uh, that's it. I guess we can all be getting on our way. Big day tomorrow. Mr. Graham, we can stay a little while longer. I mean, everything's all right, isn't it? I guess so. Anyone for the little girl's room? I'll go into the Sure. Hey, I think I'll go down to the lobby and get some cigars. I'll go with you, Andy. I always like to take a walk after a dinner. Until he's sure the check's paid. Say, <laughs> Lou, there's Edie. Where? They're just getting up. They're headed this way? No, they're leaving. Oh, good. They're going yet? All right. Now. Edie! I'd like to see you! <laughs> hey, Lou! Look who I found! They're about to go, and I, I stopped them just in time. Guess who, Lou? Hello, Lou. Murray. Uh, nice seeing you, Edie. Lou Grant, this is Mike Montgomery. Hey, he's a big one, isn't he, Lou? <laughs> How tall would you say you are, Mike? Uh, say, Ted, uh, why don't you and I go stretch our legs? Hmm? Well, all right, but we still won't be as tall as Mike. <laughs> I say, Edie, Mike. Boy, that Edie's doing all right for herself, isn't she? Well, how you been? Terrific. Terrific. You? Fine. Uh, did you bring somebody to the dinner? Oh, yeah, sure. She's in a lady room. Oh! There you are, Mary. Yeah, Edie. You know Mary. Mary, this is Mike Montgomery. How do you do? It's nice to see you. You're looking just lovely, Mrs. Edie. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. You too. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, Edie, uh, this is Martha Dudley, a friend of Mary's. How do you do? Well, nice seeing you, Edie. You too, Mike. What did I just do? Well, it was a tough spot. Not that tough. Maybe not. Martha, I wonder if you'd come with me for a second. Well, of course, we'll be glad to. Uh, excuse us. Uh, Edie, there's something I didn't make clear before. Martha, Mrs. Dudley, isn't just Mary's friend. She's my date. <laughs> So nice to meet you, Mrs. Dudley. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, did you know that Martha <laughs> was the flower girl <laughs> at Thomas Alva Edison's wedding? <laughs> you want to dance? I'd love to, Lou. Excuse us. <laughs> Mr. Grant, I had no idea that you're such a wonderful dancer. 
Neither did I. Martha taught me this step. <laughs> Come on, George. No, Ted, I don't want to. He wants to dip. <laughs> you want to change partners? Okay. <laughs> He's a little silly tonight. <laughs> Unsatisfied. Is it normal? Is it healthy? <laughs> so, what do you say, Lou? I say Nixon should take Mrs. Dudley to that dinner. <laughs> I don't think I got through to him, guys. <laughs> Mr. Grant, are you sure you won't change your mind? Yeah, come on, Lou. It'll be fun all of us going out together. You, me, Mary, Ted. I never know when to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't explain. I don't know why, but I just can't do it. I know why. It's because you think this woman will think you're not an attractive man, right, Lou? You're afraid she'll think you're a short, bald, overweight, middle-aged man. A lot of women like that. <laughs> Mary, will you please call Mrs. Dudley? I am not going out with some woman I never met before. What will we talk about? Grant, she's an intelligent woman. You can talk about anything. Call her. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant, I just can't believe that you're concerned about making conversation. What does anybody talk about when they're on a date? Call her. What do I talk about? What does Ted talk about? What does anybody talk about? Call her. What does Edie talk about when she's on a date? <laughs> Why'd you do that? Well, what do you mean? Tell me, Mary. Do you really believe that it bothers me that Edie thinks I can't get a date? Do you really? No. Oh, you're wrong. Call you Mrs. Dudley and tell her I'll see her at your place. <laughs> right! <laughs> Mrs. Dudley and cancel. No, I won't. I don't want to discuss it, Mary, please. Let me handle this, Mayor. <laughs> Lou, let's talk man to man. I think they're one short. <laughs> Lou, there are two kinds of people in this world. There are men and there are women. You with me so far, big fella? I'm with you. Now, men have certain needs, basic animal needs, ugly needs, <laughs> that can only be satisfied by 
Women? Exactly. <laughs> no, these needs are nothing to be ashamed of, Lou. All men have these needs. You have them, I have them. Even President Nixon. <laughs> Now, it isn't natural for these needs to go unsatisfied. It isn't normal. It isn't healthy. <laughs> so, what do you say, Lou? I say Nixon should take Mrs. Dudley to that dinner. <laughs> I don't think I got through to him, guys. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Lou. It'll be fun, all of us going out together. You, me, Mary, Ted. I never know when to stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't explain. I don't know why, but I just can't do it. I know why. It's because you think this woman will think you're not an attractive man, right, Lou? You're afraid she'll think you're a short, bald, overweight, middle-aged man. <laughs> a lot of women like that. <laughs> Mary, will you please call Mrs. Dudley? I am not going out with some woman I never met before. What will we talk about? Oh, Mr. Grant, she's an intelligent woman. You can talk about anything. Call her. <laughs> oh, Mr. Grant, I just can't believe that you're concerned about making conversation. What does anybody talk about when they're on a date? Call her. What do I talk about? What does Ted talk about? What does anybody talk about? Call her. What is talk about when she's on a date. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Well, what do you mean? Tell me, Mary, do you really believe that it bothers me that Edie thinks I can't get a date? Do you really? No. Oh, you're wrong. Call <laughs> you Mrs. Dudley and tell her I'll see her at your place. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, there are plenty of women in the world. Right! And I bet a lot of them would be happy to go with me to that dinner. Oh, you bet they would. Sure, she can get a date, I can get a date. Of course you can. Mary, give me a date. <laughs> <laughs> borrowing things from you. But have you got a scarf that goes with this jacket? Yeah, I think so. I figured, since this is your jacket. <laughs> hey, you look great. Where are you going? I'm going to the sports arena. I have a date with the left wing. A left wing? It's a hockey player. Oh. I met him last time his team was playing in town. I had a seat right next to the penalty box. And you just started talking to him? Sure, sure. I said, uh, excuse me, uh, is this your tooth? <laughs> Oh, Mary, that's perfect. Thanks. So, you want to come with me tonight? Oh, no, I don't think so, Rhoda. I still haven't found a date for Mr. Grant. I'm just hoping someone will call me back. Oh, you're so stupid, Mary. I almost forgot. I got somebody for you. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, a woman uh, from my mom and dad's class. Listen, she's a warm, good person. Very attractive, uh -huh. very intelligent. Her husband died about a year ago, and I have a feeling that she and Lou would really like each other. So, here's her number. I'll give her a call. Mary, I love her. Really, she's wonderful. Well, uh, listen, don't you think you ought to call her? She knows she doesn't like me. <laughs> Rhoda, if she doesn't like you, how can I possibly Mary, call Mary, her? Mary, I was just kidding then. Oh. I mean, of course she likes me. A uh -huh. person has to like me if I like them, right? I mean, I'm a likable person. You like me. I like you. Call her. She'll like you. <laughs> hey, thanks for the scarf. Okay. And the jacket, kid. You do like me, don't you? <laughs> Hello, uh, is Mrs. Dudley there? Well, how do you do, Mrs. Dudley? My name is Mary Richards, and I'm a friend of Rhoda Morgan Stearns. You know those horrible phone calls you get when someone you hardly know calls you up and asks you to go out with somebody you don't even know at all? <laughs> Well, this is one of those phone calls. <laughs> but listen, uh, l let me tell you about him, because he is really... He 7.30, and it's the same address as Rose. <laughs> See you then. Bye. And Mr. Grant, she's really looking forward to meeting you. Good. Phone her back and call it off. <laughs> but Mr. Grant... 
Well, I'm sorry, Mary. I've been thinking about it. I just can't go through with it. Call Mrs. Dudley and cancel. No, I won't. I don't want to disappoint. Oh. How <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Thank you. Have you and Mr. Grant been going together long? <laughs> no. This is our first date. We met through Mary. You know, Mr. Baxter, you look very familiar to me. Oh, well, you've probably seen me on television. No, I don't watch television. I have a fireplace. <laughs> Your excuse. George, that's a lovely dress. Is it new? Pretty new. I bought it this afternoon. <laughs> that's quite a date you got there, Lou. <laughs> you want to see if she's got a granddaughter for me? <laughs> At least nobody can accuse you of, of robbing the old cradle. <laughs> but, but, but on the other hand, she's not bad, Lou. Really. <laughs> Actually, she's she's kind of cute, you know, and it grows on you. Got nice legs. <laughs> Mr. Grant, Martha has had such an interesting life. Did you know she was flower girl at Thomas Alva Edison's wedding? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Marie got the flu, Fred. I come along. Oh, hey, Mary will get you a date. <laughs> well, listen, now that Murray's here, why don't we all head for the dinner? We don't want to be late. Certainly don't want to miss that fruit cup. <laughs> well, uh, Mary, aren't you forgetting Andy? You know, your date. Ah, oh, Andy. Hey, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi. Hi, Andy. We're just leaving. <laughs> Looks like a nice party I almost went to. <laughs> Have fun, you guys. <laughs> Thank you, dear. You know, these old legs don't always do everything that I got them to. <laughs> ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, and now for your dancing and listening pleasure, here's Bobby Roberts and his orchestra. Well, uh, that's it. I guess we can all be getting on our way. Big day tomorrow. Mr. Grant, we can stay a little while longer. I mean, everything's all right, isn't it? I guess so. Anyone for the little girl's room? I'll go into the hotel. Mary? Sure. Hey, I think I'll go down to the lobby and get some cigars. Oh. I know that, Rhoda. <laughs> but you told me to call Mrs. Dudley. Wait a minute. Wait. You, you mean she? <laughs> and Lou? <laughs> she! And Lou! <laughs> No! <laughs> Just uh, help yourself to some more dirt, Mrs. Dudley. Thank you, dear. Oh, call me Martha. All right. <laughs> Mr. Grant. Hello, Mary. Corsage. 
Thank you. <laughs> I brought it for my... <laughs> you. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh. Uh, would you pin them on for me? <laughs> you know, these old fingers don't always do what I tell them to. <laughs> hello there. Oh, hello, Rhoda, dear. Oh, what a beautiful corsage. Lou brought it for me. Did he? Mm -hmm. Oh, have some cheese puffs. Oh, it's thank nice you. and hot. Thank you, dear. How about you, Lou? No. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> Take one later if you want it. So, Martha, how's Ellen? I haven't seen her in class lately. Well, she's just fine. Well, boy, that Edie's doing all right for herself, isn't she? <laughs> well, how you been? Terrific. Terrific. You? Fine. Ah. Did you bring somebody to the dinner? Oh, yeah, sure. She's in a lady room. Oh, there you are, Mary. Yeah, Edie. You know Mary. Mary, this is Mike Montgomery. How do you do? It's nice to see you. You're looking just lovely, Mrs. Seedy. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. You too. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, Edie, uh, this is Martha Dudley, a friend of Mary's. How do you do? Well, nice seeing you, Edie. You too, Mike. Martha? What did I just do? Well, it was a tough spot. Not that tough. Maybe not. Martha, I wonder if you'd come with me for a second. Well, of course, we'll be glad to. Uh, excuse us. Uh, Edie, there's something I didn't make clear before. Martha, Mrs. Dudley, isn't just Mary's friend. She's my date. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you, Mrs. Dudley. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Um, did you know that Martha <laughs> was the flower girl <laughs> at Thomas Alva Edison's wedding. <laughs> you wanna dance? I'd love to, dude. Excuse us. Martha taught me this step. <laughs> Come on, George. No, Ted, I don't want to. He wants to dip.